In a previous video, I reworked four of Splatoon 3's maps, and in today's video, I'm going to rework four more. Mincemeat Metalworks, Hammerhead Bridge, Museum di Alfonso, and Mahi Mahi Resort. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, now something that I probably should have brought up last time I did this is that I actually have rules when it comes to redesigning and reworking this map. And my number one rule is that I cannot change the base layout of the map no matter what. I can add and remove things as much as I want, and I can adjust, uh, you know, objects here and there and add ramp. Basically, if a map is shaped like a Tetris piece, I cannot change that. All I can do is add on and you know, take away features and locations to make it more of a better time. That English was admittedly broken, but I'm assuming you still get my point. But anyways, starting off with Mincemeat Metalwork, I want to go ahead and change this section over here. I want to make this entire area right here, starting right here. What I want to do is I want to make the rest of this area open as a platform because there's really no reason as to why this empty space just exists. There's really no reason to do it at all, to be honest. What we're going to go ahead and do is make this a platform area. Next up, what I want to do is I want to remove this block and make it a ramp. The reason I want to make it a ramp is so it actually adds a way for you to get into the enemy base without having to walk along the grates. You know, like it actually adds like an extra way without having to, you know, be right in the middle. You know, it basically an alternate path, I guess, to attack um, the enemy base. And I feel like this is like a, an okay thing since, you know, this is kind of sort of out of the way when it comes to uh, flanking the enemy base. And that ramp is very much out of the way too. And the benefit of that as well is that if you're not fast enough, you're actually gonna get caught out of position because you're in such an open spot like, look how open that area is and how easily defendable this uh, position is. It is highly defendable. So honestly, I think removing that, that little block and making it a ramp would honestly be a very worthwhile decision. Another change I want to make, though, is I want to make this wall inkable. Only reason being is because that since a lot of the time backliners are positioned right here, this spot is going to be highly defended alongside this sponge. And you know, the sponge is already pretty uh, easy to defend, especially for backliners. So I think making this wall inkable would not only make uh, a backliner's job easier to get back on perch, it would also add some bit of flair as you could kind of squeeze surge on top and snipe people, you know, it, with certain weapons, of course. Uh, but apart from that, the final change I have for this map is actually kind of a small one here, but one that I would hope helps. Uh, I want to make this wall inkable. This patch specifically, like these two, si these six blocks total specifically, I want these to be inkable. That way you can kind of squiz surge and roll or just kind of roll off the wall and are able to access this area over there. That way you can do something similar like this and find a way to get onto this little area. That way there's like a bit of an alternate route. And the best part about this too is that it's a sort of like risk reward thing, you know, because since you have to actively go out in the open, and squid roll just to reach the enemy side that really puts you at a disadvantage you know and a lot of the things that i've talked about especially in last uh my last video where i did this is that a lot of the changes i'm making are very risk reward you know where it's like yes it, it the reward is that you are able to flank in an area where enemies are able to control it very easily however the risk is that you're out in the open. That's like kind of one of the mini rules I set up for myself is that I can change certain layout of maps. They just have some sort of risk reward. Uh, but that is all I have for Mincemeat Metalworks. Uh, but let's move on to our next map. Hammerhead Bridge. Now, immediately starting off with the changes here, I want to put one of these inkable blocks right here. Also something I want to point out, if you didn't already notice, there is going to be a map on the bottom right section of the screen at all times to show the changes that I want to make. Now on my Twitter, I have posted the full and complete pictures by the time this video releases. That way, if you want to get a good idea of what changes were made specifically to each map, then you can go and look at those pictures. Albie, okay, now starting off though, what I want to do is I want to put one of these inkable blocks right here because to me, it doesn't make sense why there's one right there and then not one on the other side. It, it doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't. Uh, but another change I want to make though is I want to make this section a ramp that leads up to right here. If anything, adding a ramp right here would honestly be a nice little change as you're able to kind of flow into the map more easily. And there's already a lot of ramps on this map anyways. Not only that, it also allows the enemy team to kind of push up into a base a lot easier as well. And while defending it might be a little harder, you know what, screw, why not? <laughs> uh, another change I wanna make though, is I want this platform right here. I want this to be extended outward. Specifically, I want this 
to kind of reach that because to me it doesn't make sense that this platform is meant to get into a larger area but yet before it reaches that larger area it kind of narrows into this like little corridor it, it doesn't make sense to me so i think if anything extending this area out to be a bit more blocky would honestly be a pretty nice change uh, now it's sort of like major change that i want to make is i want to add an ink rail or ink line whatever it's called right here either right here or like I think it was right here right where i put it on the map uh, i want to add one right here that will lead all the way around now on the new maps um i think it's on crab lake capital there's an ink rail that leads from mid into another portion of it or like there's another flank around it i guess i don't know the, the new season isn't out yet by the time i'm recording this video so i don't know how it works specifically but there's an ink rail there so i feel like you know if nintendo's gonna be adding ink rails into maps then maybe they should go back and rework some of the older ones to add them so that way stuff like this you know adding an ink rail right here would allow a flanking position to go over there and it also allows that area to be a bit more useful now speaking of that area though what I want to do is I want to add one of those balloons. More specifically, I want to add one of these balloons right here. And the reason for this is because I feel like a lot of the time when you end up kind of inking turf or going in this area, you're out in the open. There is no cover in this area at all. So I feel like adding one of those little balloon dummy thingies would be a nice little change as you have something to maneuver around in fights. Uh, but aside from that, though, probably the biggest change I want to make this map is I want to make this taller. I want to make these ramps on either side taller. So that way the jump from this isn't as awkward because the jump from like this area to this block, it's doable, but without enough swim speed, it ends up becoming a very awkward jump. So I feel like making these things taller would honestly be pretty nice and allows an actual reason to play up on these as you get a height advantage over a good majority of mid. You know, it actually adds like a bit of tension to the map uh, and allows an actual use for these things aside from, oh, look, an object to play around. You know, actually, like, you know, actually, no, it gives you height and allows weapons like GooTuber and Scripper to be in a better position than if they were to just be in their back line from behind this balloon. You know, it, it allows for a better positioning, in my opinion. Uh, but that is all I have for Hammerhead Bridge. So let's move on to our next map. All right, Museum de Alfonso, or Museum whatever. Uh, Museum de last name. Uh, <laughs> the changes I want to make for this map, just right off the bat, is I want to make this platform be extended to the, to the right a bit more. More specifically, I want this to be moved over so right exactly where that ink puddle is. On the map there, uh, where I kind of drew in everything else, you can kind of see where I extended it there. Uh, but basically, I want that entire section to be moved up more. That way, there's more room up here. You know, that lot more area to cover, a lot more area to play around with. And honestly, I feel like it'd be more comfortable, you know, if it was kind of moved over on to the right just a bit more. But apart from that, what I want to go ahead and do is add a vertical sponge right here. A sponge that maybe starts at player height, but you have to shoot an ink in order for it to reach max height that we can get over the wall. Now, the reason I have this under a sponge instead of an inkable wall is because I feel like if this was an inkable wall, it'd be far too easy and not as time consuming as it were if you just kind of go around, you know, because I still want this area to be accessible easier, but I still want it to be somewhat time consuming that way on both sides. If a player really wants to go on this side, you have the option of taking the kind of longer route right here or just ink a sponge that yes, it may take some amount of time that maybe you can speed up with a specific weapon. So I feel like adding a sponge right here would honestly be pretty damn nice. Apart from that though, another change I wanna add is I want to extend this platform over to the left here to make it more comfortable. Uh, again, similar to Hammerhead Bridge, I don't understand why a narrow corridor exists if it ends up going into a sort of like larger area. It doesn't make sense to me. So I feel like if anything, pushing this platform over to the right or left, whatever your, your perspective is on this, uh, that way it lines up with this, would honestly be pretty damn nice. Uh, and not only this section I want to push out as well, I also want this section to be extended as well so that it also meets with the corner of this. You can kind of see it on the map there, but basically I just want this corner to be fleshed out a bit more. But apart from that though, the final change I want to make is I want to make these blocks on either side of the map inkable. Reason being is so you actually have a reason to play height on this map in a bit more of a creative way and you actually have, have a use for these damn things apart from just, oh yeah, I'm going to maneuver around and just kind of play behind the blocks. You know, like, you know, it actually gives you a reason to go up here and aside from that it could also be interesting for some weapons such as like nzap uh 89 i think it is that have super chumps because then they could deploy chumps from here and it hits a more widespread area than if they were to deploy it from here on the ground or from here 
you know, because this kind of gets in the way, at least over right there, it's not as in the way. You know, you get a bit more leeway as you're able to get the backside there. But apart from that, though, that is all I have for Museum. Let's go ahead and move on to our final map which is Mahi Mahi Resort. Now, I will admit, making changes to this map was both interesting and difficult. Because on one hand, while I did just want to change mostly everything on this map, I wanted to stick by my rule of not changing the base map layout just so I wouldn't get overworked and kind of overdesign the map a lot. But starting off with the first change, I want this to be gone. This corner my opinion has no reason to exist as outside of being able to camp the uh enemy team spawn easier it makes no sense to me why this exists so if anything i want this little platform here extended out right there aside from that i also want this this entire platform pushed out to the right a bit more that way it's not as awkward because honestly i feel like this map is so cramped and you really feel that when you're going into mid from spawn because if you go along this way it feels like there should be more room right here more room to play around with but there's not you know so I, what i want to do is i want to extend this entire platform out to the right just by a little bit uh, but another thing i want to add though similarly to uh, the ink rails from hammerhead is i want to add an ink rail uh, over here a little bit i think it'd be right here on the map no it'd be kind of like right here ish it's kind of hard to tell obviously since i haven't reworked the maps or modded them in any way uh, but what i want to do is on this position on this map for example i want to add an ink reel that leads into mid that way you have a way to get over there easier and flank around you know i want a way to get over there that is easier you know I, that way you don't have to walk or swim all that way just to reach this area you can just simply take the ink rail but aside from that by far the biggest change i want to make is i want to add an entire platform on this side of the map basically what i want is i want a kind of alternate route or kind of flank position that leads from this little spot all the way around behind this thing and meets up over here and it basically will become a part of the map that becomes accessible when the water level drops you know it's going to be part of this part of the map so that was not always accessible and you only have access to this flanking position for a specific duration of the match you know that way it, it feels a bit more fair that way but i feel like you know something like this would honestly be pretty nice as that would mean alongside playing right here which is where most backliners you know kind of position themselves you would have to not only watch mid but also watch that position right there to make sure you don't get a flank you know it adds a bit more strategy to the game uh and a bit more wariness to backliners you know it honestly makes the game a bit more fun if they simply added that but as always, you know, let me know if you guys enjoy or think that any of these changes are good. Of course, let me know any changes that you guys want to make to these maps. Uh, but just keep in mind, though, because I got comments saying that these like the most Nintendo changes I've ever made. Keep in mind that, again, my rule for changing these maps is that I don't want to change the base layout of the map. I simply want to add and take out and adjust certain things to make the experience of the existing maps better. You know? So I guess it's not really a rework, more like a redesign. I don't exactly know what the word is, but we're going to stick with rework. <laughs> but for now, of course, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun generic YouTuber stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Kill.